DeMarcus, Lacey TV. Hey, everybody. Welcome to DeMarcus Lacey TV. We have a very special guest here, none other than Evangelist John Ramirez. I am so honored to have you here, man of God. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm great. Bless, bless. I hope you're doing well. I am excited to be here on the battlefield with you. You know, there's not many courageous brothers and crazy like me, but I'm glad you wanted them. So we, we definitely going to bless the people today and make it real, real difficult for the enemy today. Amen. Amen. I've been following you for quite <clears throat> some time, for some years now. I remember uh, one of your interview came out, uh, The Devil's Cauldron. I don't know yeah. if it came on BT or something like that, but uh, I, it came out years ago and I was like, wow, with how, you know, somebody from the dark side was born again and is exposing like all the secrets and everything of the enemy the and training and spiritual warfare. <laughs> yeah okay okay the devil's yeah. book is being exposed <laughs> yes sir yes sir and you know what i you know why this interview is so special to me because um from circles that i come from and being me being church raised in church you know pretty much all my life you know there's some things we we kind of knew a, a little smidgen of how to do spiritual warfare or how to fight the enemy you know and deliverance and things like that you know uh our deliverance team uh, many people that are watching this uh, pretty much, you know, uh, was pretty much like the uh, mother's board, you know, that really operated in casting out devils or or things of that nature. But we pretty much didn't know how to really combat the forces of darkness, you know, like you're teaching people all over the world. Amen. Amen. You know, I think I think that, you know, I teach people from the perspective <clears throat> of of the enemy's camp and how the enemy operate functions and how the enemy runs in patterns and cycles or repeat. That's why Christians they're like free one day, then six months later they're back in the same situation. And uh and I, I teach believers how to really conquer, conquering your deliverance, conquering your victory, not just having it. You gotta conquer it. You know, yes, we are more than conquerors. Bible said we just are mediocre. Uh we just hoping something happened. We are more than conquerors. How do I conquer this devil in front of me, put him in his place? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, that's amazing. We're looking here. We're going to start very from the very beginning. Uh, everybody that's watching, I want you to go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, and share this video because I believe that the man of God is going to empower us to combat the forces of darkness. So we're going to go all the way from the very beginning, man of God. Just let people know who you are. So you were born in Puerto Rico. I was right? born in Puerto Rico. My family immigrated to New York City when I was one years old. We moved into the South Bronx of New York. That was like the Fort Apache. That was like the jungle. Uh, okay. you know, talking about, you know, drugs, gangs in the 70s, mm -hmm. whatnot. I grew up in that. In my family, we we connected with all the witches and warlocks in the, in the Bronx. And uh, we used to go to Demon Church at the age of eight years old. I, was, I mean, after I got recruited, seven, about seven and a half. Uh, I had a I had a necklace that fell from the second heaven and, I, and hmm. fell right in my feet. So I got recruited from the demonic side, not even from the human side. And it's like Paul. Paul said, you know, I had a revelation with Jesus, straight with Jesus. No, no apostles came up to me and, and recruited me. Jesus recruited me straight on. So my, my encounter with the devil at seven and a half years old, a necklace wow. from the second heaven. I got recruited from the devil all the way from second heaven where the principalities reign and rule. Well, wait a minute. We, 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 that is very, I hear you talk about that a lot. Before we get to that point, before you even got into witchcraft, you said, I heard you said in another interview that your father was involved in this, right? Yeah, my father was involved. The, the, the bloodline of my father, my, my aunt, and my father's side, the bloodline of that line, they were involved in witchcraft from all the way from Puerto Rico, all the way back, all the way into they bought the they bought the black magic into the United States and continue to practice it and make it stronger. Wow. So like your father, did he grow up doing this? Or was this something he did in his adult years or did did he start off very young like you uh, did? My, to my recollection, because, you know, I never had a real strong relationship with my dad, so we never talked. I think the only relationship, the relationship that I can remember, my dad, he took me to the car wash a few times, me and my brothers. That was like great adventures for us to go to the car wash and let the bubble go on the window and then go back. Yeah. That was, uh, you know, that was like having uh, going to Walt Disney. 
you know, going to the car wash with my father. But I, wow. it, it, it would have been practices. It been, it, it, my father at the young age, my father, I remember he was practicing, practicing witchcraft at a young age because my father got shot in the face for a woman that wasn't even his at the age of 33 and died that same night. Wow. Why did he get shot? Like what happened? He, he, he was in a, he was in, you know, in New York City, we had, they had these illegal social clubs that, that people would go play pool table, drink, and these things, um, technically they were illegal, but they had them everywhere. So people would go there and drink and hang out. So the, the, the lady at the bar, the bartender had a relationship, uh, a relationship with my dad, uh, you know, one of these, uh, crazy relationship. My mom, my mom's was, my, my mom was a good wife at home. But my wow. brother, my father was out there, um, you know, indulging in other uh, affairs. So, so, so the guy that came in to the the guy that came in to uh, to play pool table, he mm -hmm. he liked the bartender woman, but the bartender woman didn't like him. So he felt jealous in the in in the in the in the, in the social club. He felt kind of jealous, and mm -hmm. uh, he started to pick a fight with my brother, my father's friend, and then ended up carrying on to my father. So the guy pulled out a gun. And shot my my father in the face and killed him right there. Wow, man! Mm -hmm. I was thirteen. And your father, and your, and your, you were thirteen years old. Thirteen years old when my father and your, shot. And he was and your father. He was married to your mom, right? He was married to my mom. He had a good wife home, and he has a good wife home. But my father was, you know, again, uh, any anything that that had a skirt, you know, he 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 was attracted to, and unfortunately, wow. that cost him his life. And I heard you talk about like. When you and your siblings were young, he would he involved you guys he would, early he would on. Do ceremonies, yeah, he would do ceremonies on us. We would do ceremony. He'll turn the living room on fire. He'll put fire wow. in the room, and then he'll make me, and my brother, jump over the fire to purify us and dedicate us to the demonic side. So that was human like sacrifice, like 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 human offerings. He will offer me, and my brothers, to the demons. In the principality that he uh, he will he had contracts with, so he mm -hmm. would have us run. He would have us jump to the fire, and as we jumped to the fire, he was dedicating us to, to the demons that he had a contract with. Jump over the fire, purifying us and initiating us to the dark side, so we can have a relationship with demons. So I would see demons in my house at a young age, like I see people. Demons will show up in my house as, as human form manifests. Demons will manifest in my home. I see demons, all kind of demons in my home. To us, which it became normal. Wow! So you migrated from Puerto Rico and you was raised in the in the Bronx of New York. The streets of the and South Bronx, New York City. Why? Right, and you're, you're seeing your father practice witchcraft and sorcery and all these types of things. So and my aunt, it's, my aunt was a high rank witch. She did tarot card readings. We went. And she took us to a demon church. Which is called Centros, which, uh, which is people like people's home. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they have basements and they turn into a church, or they have a storefront and they turn into a demonic church. People go there to break. And she did that. And she did that. Yeah, my aunt very very high power. Even today, my aunt is a very still high, eighty years old and still in the demonic side in uh, Tampa, Florida. Demarcus Lacey TV.